Let's focus on some of the most important topics from the section on environment and ecology. The first topic is the Kondian Wildlife Sanctuary. Now this is located in Andhra Pradesh and known for its population of Asiatic elephants. Now there are three subspecies of Asian elephants which is the Indian, Sumatran and the Sri Lankan. The African elephants are considered under vulnerable list in IUCN classification. However, Asian elephants are under endangered status. So the protection of these have been important. The next is various conservation projects for the same so the first conservation project that we focus on is Project Elephant launched in 1992. Then is Gaj Yatra which is a national awareness campaign. Then we have institutions like Wildlife Trust for India which has a publication on the right of passage for 101 elephant corridors across the country and more surveillance and protections across the elephant corridors and also the ringing sounds along the uh, railway lines. The next is monitoring of killing of the elephants which was launched in 2003 and the World Elephant Day celebrated 12th August every year to protect and conserve the elephants. Then we have the surplus rice and this surplus rice can be converted into ethanol as uh, the use for sanitizer. Now the National Biofield Coordination Committee has stockpiled nearly 30 million tons of rice which is 128% more than the buffer stock for strategic requirement norms and this huge stock of the previous years is now used through the grain based distillery capacities to generate ethanol which can be further used for uh, the sanitizers. The next is the national biofuel policy. We have covered a separate lecture on this. Very very important. What is the first generation, second generation, third generation and the fourth generation biofuels and how they are important. The next is the Dehing Patkai Wildlife Century. Now this is one of the major elephant reserves in Assam. Uh, it is located in Dibrugar and Tinsukhya district and it is also known as the Jaipur region in forest the name is lying on the name of the river flowing through the forest of the hing uh, now here chinese pangolins are also seen and barking deer are also found assamese makue which is one of the primates found in this forest which is nearly threatened under the iucn classification is also seen now the next is malayan giant squirrel this population has declined 90, this would decline by 90% by 2020, 2050 according to the zoological survey uh, which is based in Kolkata as, it had, had, as its headquarters and uh, the scientific name of this Malayan giant squirrel is Ratufa bicolor and this is one of the unique squirrels because it is usually diurnal active during the day but is a herbivore which is very very similar to flying a squirrel. There are three giant species of squirrels seen in India which is the Indian giant, black giant and Malayan giant. Uh, so this is one of those and it is found in evergreen and semi evergreen areas mainly in the uh, southeast Asia of Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, South China. Uh, the idea is uh, with the more of deforestation, fragmentation of the forest, uh, forest, the population of this Malayan giant squirrel is significantly affected. The next is deteriorating Great Barrier Reefs. Now uh, under the IUCN uh, classification, this has been put under a critical stage. It is one of the most expensive and spectacular uh, coral reefs of the world. There are more than 2,900 individual corals and 900 islands present and it is selected as the World Heritage Site in 1981. It is also one of the biggest single structure which is visible from the outer space on the earth. So it's very very important. Now uh, corals symbolize the zoo uh, the symbiotic algae which is zoozanthale and the phenomena of its whitening is known as coral bleaching there have been again reports of emission gaps now emission gaps report has been put up in 2020 the idea is the goal of limiting the global warming below 2 degrees celsius and Constraint and from pursuing beyond 1.5 degrees Celsius is the goal. So identifying the greenhouse gases, the carbon emissions, the forest fires is one of the major aspects of this effort. The next is Lakshadweep has been declared as an organic union territory and the entire Lakshadweep archipelago has been declared as organic agricultural area. Now this is the first union territory to become 100% organic with safer food choices and Sikkim in 2016 became the first organic state and therefore it is important. Now here 
uh, one district one product coconut farmers have been given a thrust then there are various initiatives for organic farming for example paramparagrat krishi vikas yojana capital investment subsidy the national mission on oil seed the national security mission and so on so the three main island groups have been part of it and kavarati which is the capital has been uh, taken into account the next is himalayan sero it has been sited in the himalayan cold desert of lahul and spiti and this resembles a cross breed of goat donkey cow and pig and this is very very unique it is found mainly in the himalayan area and it is sub species of the mainland sero these are herbivores and found at a height of 2000 to 4000 meters above uh, spiti is major area and the, this sero was spotted at ruby bhaba wildlife sanctuary which is known for its alpine pastures in chamba area now under iucn classification it is classified under the vulnerable category and there are various um, protection regions for example the trans himalayan mountain range lying in the regions of uh, ladakh jaskar karakoram and has been one of those the next is the kor uh, the kolar leaf nosed bat now this is one of the bats which is uh, given a very very important uh, uh, status and it is located only in one cave of hanuman ali in the kolar districts or kolar districts of karnataka and therefore it has been named as kolar leaf nosed bat the bat is mainly uh, seen declining the population is seen declining due to land use changes hunting and stone quarrying it is put in the category of critically endangered and it has been given a legal uh, protection status now bat conservation is important bats are one of the major pollinators nectar is their main diet and they help in pollination so conservation of bats is very very important uh, now The next is higher amount of ammonia is found in the region of Yamuna, and this po population the the levels have been increasing significantly. The ammonia reduces the oxygen content in water, and that is due to the transformation of uh, to the oxides of nitrogen, which increase the biological oxygen demand. So, what is the solution? The solution is ozone-based treatment for the water plants up to four ppm, and Yamuna, which is major tributary of Ganga, needs to. be clean significantly so there are some important dams on it one is the tajewala barrage barrage and the next is lakhavar vyasi dam in uttarakhand the next is in ladakh the sokar wetland and its conservation is important now this was part of the ramsar convention and the international wetland Con uh, conservation the sokar is a hypersaline lake which is found in the changthang region of ladakh and this is under the a1 category of the important bird area and is one of the major staging sites for asian uh, central asian flyways uh, so important bird area means the world's birds and associated biodiversity it is an important part of it and the central asian flyway says that this is a flyway through which the birds from the arctic uh, reach the indian ocean through the chain of uh, pass and these are some of the major species that cross this region now the next is the rescued exotic animals so in guwahati uh, zoo there have been six blue water uh, uh, six blue macaw and two capuchin monkeys which have been released now this have been related to the illegal wildlife trade and uh, globally we have the fourth largest transnational organized crime which is for the illegal wildlife trafficking after narcotics counterfeit goods and human trafficking so that is again an important issue that we need to take into account now this uh, Assam Zoo, which is located in the Hengra Bari Reserve in Guwahati, is considered as the green lung of the Guwahati city. Capuchin monkeys are important. They are also known as sapa ju, and they are mainly found in the Central and South America, the tropical rainforest of Nicaragua to Paraguay. Uh, Panna Reserve is another important reserve in Madhya Pradesh, and the third to be included in the world. network of biosphere reserves after panchmani and amarkantak from madhya pradesh 
Now, Panna was established in 1981 and it is mainly in the Panna and the Chhatarpur district. Uh, the Kane River flows through it, which is one of the least polluted rivers of Yamna, the least polluted tributaries of Yamna. And there have been various conservation projects. For example, in 1994, it was part of the Tiger Conservation. Then in 2011, it became a biosphere reserve. In 2018, Tiger's uh, population in the tiger became uh, remarkably high and then in 2020 it was part of the man and biosphere program. The next is new species in and uh, Andaman. So new species of tree frog has been identified in the Andaman area and this is basically under the biological name of striped bubble nest frog. Now this has a small and slender body of just 2 to 3 centimeters long and there are speckles which are present scattered on the body. It is arboreal, lives on the tree and light colored green eggs are seen from this species. Uh, it has various unique uh, traits. For example, the community egg, egg attendance, maternal egg attendance. That means until hatching, the female member attends the egg clutches and mother assists in releasing the tadpoles. Then is the vulture action plan 2020. 25. This is uh, important because India is home to nine species of vulture and but between the last 20 years we have seen three of the critically species critically endangered species the oriental white black the long billed and the slender billed vultures decreasing significantly 99 percent of the species has been wiped and that is due to a significant use of diclofenac. Now uh, this has um, also seen that diclofenac has found in animal carcass and that has been affecting the lives of vultures. So under the international save which is the saving Asian vultures from extinction the bird conservation uh, program has come into account. Now there are various species and some of those are under critically endangered, some under endangered, some under least concern and the list has been cited here. The next is the project which is uh, the Anakalyam small hydroelectricity project and that is in the Kerala. Now this is part of the Param uh, Bikkulam Tiger Reserve buffer zone and this is where a long tunnel has been created with the forest and it is considered as one of the ecological fragile areas. Arithapalli Hydel Electricity Power Project is again part of it and it is based on the Chalakodi River in Annamalai Hills of Tamil Nadu. Uh, so the Parakambikulam uh, Tiger Reserve in Kerala is very very important. Now the next is Global Geoparks. This has been covered in the down to earth edition last month that we have covered. Geoparks are significantly unified geographical areas which have international representation and aims at protection, education and sustainable development. So management and networking becomes important and in 2004 it was legally considered as a non-profit organization with an annual membership fees. After four years of uh, designation, the quality for each of the geopark is re-examined. So some of the important sites which are part of this in uh, Vishakapatnam are the Eramati Diblu, which is the coastal red sediment molds which are seen between Vishakapatnam and Bhimapatnam. Similarly, natural rock formations along the eastern ghats in the Thotha uh, Kondol Buddhist site the Bora Caves which were discovered during William King John's, uh, then you have the volcanic ash deposits are some of these examples. The next is desalinization plants. Now government is bringing in more of desalinization plants specifically in Maharashtra along the coast of Mumbai and this would be having a capacity to process nearly 200 million liters of water on a daily basis to overcome the shortage of water mainly in the months of May and June by Mumbai. So salt water to be made fit for drinking is what is desalinization and the access would be given through the reverse osmosis process where uh, the solvents from an area of high concentration uh, would be pushed to an area of low solute concentration and through an external pressure which would be applied through a semi-permeable membrane and this would bring in uh, the saline water as a potable or drinkable water. The next is Maduka Diplo, uh, Diplostemon in Kerala. Now this is one of the trees which has been rediscovered from a sacred grove uh, in a uh, 
in the regions of Kolam in Kerala. Now, this tree has been identified by the Jawaharlal Nehru Tropical Botanical Garden and Research Institute in Palod, Kerala. This is the first specimen of the tree which was found in, 19, in 1835 by Robert Witt, who is a surgeon botanist, who was a surgeon botanist with East India Company. And these specimens were never ever collected after that. Uh, this is very, very unique and is considered under a critically endangered uh, species. The next is skinks. Skinks in India are a kind of special lizards and these category have been published under the Geological Survey of India. There are nearly 1600 such species and this is the largest family of lizard which is considered with long body, no legs and no neck and they have usually a glossy skin. They have been confused with their identity. Not much information is available on their breeding habitat or their ecology. But they are found in nearly all kind of locations from coast to dense forest and uh, across all biogeographical regions. So this is very very important. Some of the major species have been found in eastern Ghats. Limbless skins have been found in the regions of Chilka Lake in the Barkod Island and therefore uh, have been important. Similarly in the western Ghats the species is Castella and in the western Ghats there is another species which is cat skink which is known as Ristella. The blue tailed skins are known as Castella and the cat skins are known as Ristella. Very very important. So those were some of the important topics that we have discussed. Just a quick summary. The rescued is exotic species, the illegal wildlife trading, the major biosphere reserves, the elephant reserves and the projects related to it, vulture uh, action plan and the SAVE project and then uh, the UNESCO Global Geoparks are some of the important issues that have been discussed in this section. So stay tuned for our next section on environment and ecology, the third part of it. We will be covering more topics for you. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day.